I decided I'm gonna start making these as a series called the Boxcar Spike Series. <clears throat> and the idea is it's small, kind of looks like a spike, bit of a railroad spike maybe, you know? And uh, I'm finding that it's actually quick and easy to make. And, um, well, I'm not going to jinx myself just yet, but I'm going to improve and we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I've uh, started the first of that series. And here is the reed material, which came from this old laundry hamper. And uh, I've only put about an hour and a half, probably, hour, hour and a half at most into this, getting it all bent and aligned and all that so uh i'm pretty pleased i'm gonna call it quits for tonight it's midnight but as i oh by the way so i'm uploading a pile of shorts that are gonna document this whole thing as i go uh stay tuned tune in keep watching uh like subscribe and share and uh yeah i'm hopefully gonna have a bunch of these guys that maybe one day will be for sale but i'm not that good yet we'll see Oh, so yeah, I was getting into the groove and I thought, better record this. The humidity from my breath is making my fingers stick, but I do like the tone of this one. So anyway, that clanking that you hear, that's because if you don't hit this reed just right, it does, it can deflect side to side um, on account that it is a very long and narrow piece. So it does have some wobble to it. Uh, so it is actually a challenging harp to play. But uh, once you get going on it, and the gaps on it are ridiculous. Like I can't believe I get that kind of sound out of a harp with huge gaps like that, but whatever. Uh -oh. 